Hi, this is Carl Anderson with Marine Max Charleston off Daniel Island, and today I'm going to take you through a brand new boat of ours. This is a 2024 Sea Ray 270 SDX outboard. Starting off with the boat's exterior, this is the Horizon Gray full hull gel coat color. Great color combination for this boat. Stainless steel rub rail insert with a white rub rail. Powder coated white uh, sports tower arch. Beautiful swooping lines on this boat as well. It's powered by a 300 horsepower Mercury Verado 4.6 liter engine. Great power for this boat as well. And now we'll make our way inside. Here on the transom of Sea Race 270 SDX, you do have a full walkthrough transom. So even with the motor trimmed all the way up, you can still easily pass through from one side to the other. And certainly with the motor trimmed all the way down, you have plenty of walking space. Large aft facing sun pad here with a really nice high backrest, cup holders, charging ports on both sides. And then you have really versatile storage beneath both of these seats. This port side storage locker extends further forward so you can put longer items down there. And then making our way towards the cockpit, we've got a stereo remote back here so we can control the music without having to go back up to the helm. Fresh water sprayer. We've got a cooler box that drains. We've got a block off door for the cockpit. Fuel fills on the starboard side. You notice this is the stone colored upholstery. Looks great with the gray sea deck and the horizon gray gel coat. We've got a reboarding step on the starboard side as well. Freshwater sink. More cup holders, courtesy lights as you enter. Beneath this starboard side lounge seat here is a cooler box with a chiller. And otherwise, just a, another comfortable place to sit. The helm area has an adjustable backrest that's mirrored on both the port and starboard side that creates an aft facing lounger. Again, nice, high, comfortable, thick backrest. Very comfortable place to sit on either side of the boat that easily converts when it's time to face forward. L shaped seating in the cockpit here. Great place to hang out. For a nice day on the water. And then you've got storage. So under the aft cockpit seat, we have our battery switch along with a battery charger. That's very easy to get to with this outlet right here. Great way to keep your batteries juiced. Under the port side lounge seat, we have where the batteries are located following rigging in addition to jet, dedicated storage for the bow filler cushion. We also have the boat's canvas currently in place there. We've got a center storage locker in the floor. It's great for just general, general use. Over here on the helm area, very comfortable helm with a thigh rise bolster. This uh, helm seat also has an adjust where you can slide forward and aft. Tilt steering wheel, got a 12 inch Simrad display, touchscreen unit, Fusion Bluetooth stereo head unit, aircraft style toggle switches for all of your pumps and lights, trim tabs, windless anchor control is back here as well. A digital throttle and shift with that Mercury 300 Brado engine. Very comfortable position to operate the throttle with a nice armrest right here. Great visibility on this boat and generally just very comfortable place to drive. Coming over to the head area. Nice size head, it's easy to get in and out of. Porcelain toilet with a freshwater sink and a window to the port side. Got glove box storage here as well. Great place for wallet and keys and phones. Coming forward, we do have the ability to close off the bow area from the cockpit on those cooler running days. Keep some of that cold air from coming through. Got another storage locker up front. Again, great for just general use. And then one of the more comfortable seating areas on the boat is the bow area. Huge U-shaped bow seating area, armrests that come down on both sides. Nice tall backrests that are sculpted for your back. Plenty of lounge space, even for someone who's well over six feet tall. 
Speakers are inlaid, beautiful upholstery inlay up here as well. Cup holders on both sides. Again, a table for that bow or a table mount, for that bow table. And then grab rails for safety. And then beneath, we've got great storage that also make for good cooler boxes that are finished and drained. And then up front, we have a our windless anchor that's controlled at the helm, in addition to a wash down sprayer to spray off your anchor road and chain when you bring it back in. And that's a walkthrough of Sea Ray's 270 SDX. Again, I'm Carl Anderson with Marine Max Charleston. If you have any questions about this boat or any of our others, give us a call at 843 747 1889 and always check us out online at marinemax.com. Thanks for watching.